go and pick him for a case history. Ask me that. I want my head examining. Well, you thought he might be a challenge. Another one. Don't be sarky, Thorman. It doesn't suit you. Breakfast done and dusted? Nearly, sister. Now, bed's next. Oh, and will you do the drips as you're going round, Nurse Fullman? You've time before your coffee break. Oh, I'll never finish, sister. Try. Yes, sister. Nurse Longhurst? It is. The Master of Interest, why did you choose Mr. Collins as your case history? It just seemed interesting, that's all. Well, that's a common enough operation these days, vergotomy. Well, he seemed interesting when he came in. Well, you'll have to do at least half a dozen case histories before you're trained, nurse. Hope they're not all going to prove so trying. You've no need to worry. I'm not going to get... Get involved again? Is that what you were going to say? Well, he'll hardly even talk to me. I mean, how can I get him... Nurse, the point of a case history is for you to get to know the personal side of a patient's problems so you can learn to treat them as individuals. Well, you can hardly do that if they won't cooperate. I think you'd better drop him. Pick somebody else. Ward 14. Who? Oh, yes, Mr. Langham. I see. Hmm? What did she want? Can't you guess? You're showing every sign you are, Lomas. Like you had measles. I am not getting myself involved with Mr. Collins. Shh. Can I tidy your bed, please, Mr. Collins? You have to. You know I do. A tidy bed is a happy bed, according to Sister Easby. The bathroom's empty. You've got time if you want a bath. Wash as much as you can without getting your dressing wet. I don't need a bath. It'll make you feel much fresher. Honestly, it gets very hot in here. Don't you like being in hospital, Mr. Collins? Oh. No, can't say I blame you. Must get very boring. Same old routine every day. What was your job, Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins? Look, what is this? Chat up the patient session. Just trying to be friendly, that's all. Nurse. Yes? There is one thing that you could do for me. What? You can stop that twit forever talking about his condition and him there snoring all night long. Keep you awake, does it? It's like trying to sleep in the middle of a barrel organ. Well, you could ask for another sleeping pill. Why should I? To get some sleep. I'd get some if he'd stop snoring. I can't stop him snoring now, can I? How many sleeping tablets did you say I could have? Oh, well, two. Two should be sufficient. Two? You must have hundreds in that drug trolley you push about. Now, a dozen would really stop me having to listen. Nurse, you got a sec? What? Have a look at this. Nurse! What? Done that. Do you think? Oh, Furbank just like her. Anything wrong? Oh no, it's uh, nothing, Mr. Johnson. You better get it washed off quick before Cooper sees it. Don't you uh, think it looks a bit like somebody we know? <laughs> Who? Grumble Guts Collins. What's <laughs> <laughs> the hold up? Uh, nothing, sister. You're guessing behind. You haven't even started on the pre-med yet. Mr. Grant's due in the theatre at twelve. You see to it, Nurse Fullman. Oh, but sister. No. I've got... Yes, sister. Oh, and uh, before I forget, the glass for Mr. Cooper. That's Cooper's car. Swish. He's a character, isn't he? Not stuck up like some of them. It's diabolical money he gets compared with us. Oh, put another record on, Ruth. He's very good at his job. Everyone says so. Did you hear what Collins was going on about this morning? No. I told Cooper it was all a waste of time. Did he? What we're all doing. Sort of like the King's horses and all the King's men. Hey, come again. 
putting Humpty Dumpty together again? Only why bother if he's too old and past it, as he mostly is, according to Collins. No, you think sometimes we're working in a geriatrics ward? Gives me the pip. The clever clogs Cooper put him straight. He had a go. I hate it when patients get all grateful for what we do. It embarrasses me. But somebody like Collins being deliberately cantankerous. Just it's as though he hates us for helping him. He's a bit of a psycho, if you ask me. Anyway, don't let him get you down. He does get me down. As far as I'm concerned, he gets ignored. I don't like moolers. We've enough to put up with as it is. Anyway, it's all in the mind. You're hard, you are. it when he asked me to get him those sleeping pills. Well, you won't be told, will you, Longhurst? Ignore him. He'll soon come round if he has to sing for his supper once or twice. I've seen it happen before. But nursing isn't about ignoring people, Ruth. I'd never have been a nurse if I thought that. Look, there's some people here just can't help. It's a fact. You seeing Roy tonight? If he rings, he will. Then I'll be singing. Can you take anything for bunions? Oh, shut up about your rotten bunions. See, you're not interested in me. <laughs> Nothing to say for yourself. Makes a change, doesn't it? Now, someone had to shut him up. I asked you to, didn't I? Didn't I, nurse? Yes, you did. Did you do it? No, you didn't, did you, nurse? I couldn't do anything. You can't stop him talking. Oh, can't you just? A well-placed hatchet right between the eyes. One condition he can't yak on about. Mr. Collins, what is the matter? Hmm? I said, what is the matter? I mean, his wretched body. And Cooper talks about dignity. How can a man have any dignity with a length of rubber tubing inside of him, hmm? Eh? Question, nurse. If you had to choose between losing your mind and losing your, well, your legs, which would you choose? Hmm? I don't know. Well, you can forget about your mind. You stay with your legs. They can carry you up Stoughton, walk you into a pub, Dance you, dance you round a maypole. <laughs> Illness. It's obscene. I wouldn't know about that. You wouldn't know? What? Working in here? What, in this charnel house? Well, you're up to your eyes in it. But you don't notice. Don't notice? What, are you blind or something? Ah, yes, that's it. All doctors and nurses are blind. You'd have to be blind, otherwise you'd go bonkers, blind as bats or stupid. Mr. Collins? Mm, what? Are you... Yes, well, go on. Am I what? Nothing. It's just that I thought you might have some kind of personal trouble, that's all. Have you? You thought that I had some personal trouble. Yes. You thought. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen? Nineteen. And you stand there glowing like a light bulb. As if all it needed to put the world to rights was a smile and a suppository. You go on like you Listen, you're a child, darling. A child playing at nurses. Now, you're going to do someone some damage if you're not very careful, so... Uh, go away. Hey, and, uh... Leave me alone. It's, it's just that I thought it might help to tell somebody, that's all. You asked me what my job was? Yes. All right, I'll tell you. I'm an English teacher. I teach kids your age. Well, 
No, no, just about. Now, for the last time, go away and offer your virginity to some doctor or something, but leave me alone! That's long, Hurst. I'd like to speak to you, please. You're a right basket, you are, aren't you? Yes. Yes, sister? What was all that about, nurse? I don't know. Why was Mr. Collins shouting at you? No reason, really. I told you to leave him. To leave him alone, didn't I? Yes, sister. Why didn't you, then? I only asked him what the matter was. He'd been arguing with Mr. Slingsby. You can't resist it, can you, nurse? What? Poking your nose. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't poking my nose into anything. What were you doing, then? Getting information for my cases. Oh, please. come on. You can be honest, at least. This isn't the first time we've had this. Well, is it? Had what? Look, why do you persist in doing it? Do you want to have to give up nursing? No, sister. Well, that's what'll happen if you don't know where to draw the line. Know where your job stops and meddling begins. I wasn't meddling. I'm only saying this for your own good, you know. Mr. Collins is unhappy. Apparently. Well, isn't it just as important to send him out happy as well as cured? You feed him, don't you? Observe him, check him, make sure he's comfortable. Yes. You're cheerful, friendly, willing. I think I am. Then that's all that can be expected of you. You're not a psychiatrist, not a social worker. You're just a nurse in the second year of your training. But if he worries me, well, why shouldn't I take an interest in him? Well, why? Look, take Mr. Cooper. Now, he left here this morning with what? At least three patients on the danger list. Now, that probably happens every week, every day sometimes. He can't leave here worried sick about each and every one of them, just as I can't. We, we wouldn't last a month. We'd both be in the psychiatric wing. All we can do is our jobs and our best. It's the only way. Now, you've got to learn that. Keep a distance, nurse. Keep a balance. I don't know what that means. Well, it'd be a great pity if you can't, because you're a good little nurse. Anyway, I won't tell you again. No more truck from Mr. Collins. Well, apart from anything else, he's... Well, he's Mr. Collins. But what about my case history? You choose somebody else. Your, your tutor agrees and you can have another week before you hand it in. Yes, sister. Right. Off you go, then. I'm sorry, sister. <laughs> 